Hello my darlings, my name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I normally do you separate star sign readings weekly, but because of a lovely life-changing event this week, um, I um, want to um, make sure I can get all the readings done today for tomorrow. Um, and I've just left myself today. So I'm going to be grouping you together uh, for your underneath your earth sign. So obviously Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. Um, but we're all collective energy, so if you're meant to see this reading and it's meant to resonate with you, it will do so at exactly the right time for you and Spirit will guide you here to, to hear these messages for you. Um, and I simply channel, you know, what I see and what I hear and what I speak comes through from Spirit. So I'm going to be doing your Six of Cups soulmate reading for you though. And we're going to see what's in your headspace, what's in your heart space, what's in your soulmate's head and heart space, we're going to see their intentions towards you and then we're going to pull some advice from Spirit and then I am going to clarify the deck and then I'm going to pull you some love messages and oracle cards. So it's a little bit of a longer weekly reading for you just to make up for the fact that you haven't got an individual star sign reading. So first of all, let's see what is in Earth Science headspace at the moment. Thank you, Spirit. came out straight away. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. So my darling, you are manifesting at the moment. Um, you're most probably manifesting subconsciously. We manifest all the time. We create our own reality all the time, but it's that beautiful way of creating your reality from a conscious way. So in the Seven of Pentacles, I feel that you are very much focused on, you know, what um, hasn't yet come to fruition, haven't, hasn't yet manifested. Your, what you're wishing for and hoping for hasn't yet happened. Um, you're not... Um, uh, very I mean you're not so much in um, you're not so much in that space where you're feeling incredibly sad about it but I think you have a longing there for something but what spirit is um, reminding me to tell you is that when you're in this seven of Pentacles space you have you see the Pentacle that's fallen you know that's already manifested you're creating your own reality already and it's about being grateful for what you do have in your life um, and when you come from that space of being grateful for so many things, we're all so fortunate, we all have so many things to be grateful for, that in turn creates more and more and more of your manifestations, your desires to come through. And thank you, Spirit. They're also coming through at exactly the right time for you, exactly in divine timing. And if they haven't happened yet, if this is really good regards your soulmate, then you're being protected. If it hasn't, if something's not happening that you wish to happen, it's because there is a divine law and divine, divine timing to everything. And uh, there is still some things to happen um, before it can happen, if that makes sense. And so it's about you having trust and faith in the process and understanding that God knows exactly when these things should happen for you. Um, and it's also a reminder, again, just about um, being in your grateful space. Um, the universe always responds to how you really feel about things, not what you think about them. So when you're manifesting something, it's about how you feel about yourself because you create your own reality. You know, you're like a radio signal. What you're putting out there, you're receiving back. So you're very much in a space of thinking a lot and, um, and missing and um, you are doing some work. You know, I'm seeing the spade. You know, Earth signs, you're very grounded. I know you are. You know, you're amazing and you're practical and I know that you are getting on with things in your life you need to get on with um, and you know you are setting your goals but there are things that I just feel at the moment that you're wondering why they haven't happened yet you know you, you probably put all the work in and it still hasn't happened so it just comes down to divine law so let's see what's in your heart space for your soulmate well that flew out so you've got this two of wands so you very much know what you want you know the two of wands is that decision uh, and it's something that you instinctively know. Um, because you see here this with his two of wands, he's standing on this turret, on this castle turret. That represents um, uh, m making a decision from your higher self, from your soul. So this is, this is something that you know. You know that your soulmate is, this is your world. This is very important to you. Um, there has been some form of symbolic ending in your life and I don't know if this is regards your 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 soulmate who you are the person who you're thinking about 
or regards another relationship, but that's represented by these, these snow-capped mountains in the distance. Um, but you have come a long way and you are now seeing things from um, a place of peace. You know, the, 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 the sort of olive leaves on the, on the wands represent that sort of peace and victory um, and sort of peace restored to your life. And I think there has been a, you know, I think the universe is just giving you a little break at the moment, just a little downtime, a little quiet time. Um, you know, after all the effort, you know, everything that you've gone through. Um, and you are very grounded, represented here by the red here. You're very, very grounded and you know what you want. Um, and, you know, wands represent, you know, the passion, the desires, creativity, that energy within us. So you're very clearly focused um, and you're looking, you know, almost at yourself in your headspace. Thank you. It's like this is in your heart space. So your heart is trying to tell you. To, to get your head stop thinking so much about things because your heart knows where your direction is. Your higher self, your soul knows and is telling you it all happens in the right timing, but to trust in your knowing as well. Um, so, uh, and thank you, Spirit. And then the seven and the two make nine. And the nine I'm seeing immediately, it's that nine of pentacles is somebody who is gone through so much growth, who's come to a place of just having a relationship with themselves, a relationship with the universe. They understand conscious manifestations, they're creating, they're happy, they're in such an amazing space. Um, and so this is, this is what Spirit is saying to you, trust in your knowing, trust in your heart, trust in your soul, whatever you're feeling for your soulmate is true. And that'll help you take you from the seven of pentacles to the nine of pentacles, where you've let go and let God and you're just experiencing the magic of watching things that you um, have been wishing to manifest coming in. So now we're going to see what's in your uh, soulmate's headspace and that's flown out already. This is very interesting. They've got the three of wands, my darling. So the three of wands is again about manifestation. So whatever they are doing at the moment, they are <clears throat> they're in a place where they understand um, um, about the right timing of things. The three of ones, they're thinking about you. There may be somebody else involved. I don't know with the three there. Um, they are very much waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for their ships to come in, but those represent their manifestations. But they are in a place of understanding that it may not be quite the right time. Um, again, they're holding these wands and with the olives representing, you know, peace restored and victory and everything. Um, and they may have had a bit of a checkered past. I've suddenly been drawn to, to, to this sort of thing that they're wearing here. Um, but they're very much, again, in their heart space with the, with the shawl they've got thrown over. I think they're, they're, they're finding it difficult to speak. You know, they want to speak some things to you, but they may be finding it a little difficult to speak. That's what that's telling me near their throat. There are words of love that they want to say. Um, and they, um, they know what they want. They're holding that wand. So, and you're also holding it too. So, and two and three makes five, and five is change. Okay, five is change. Um, all right, and but five of wands is also about having that conflict within yourself and everything, and it's about staying away from negative energies. So it may be that there has been some things between you that have been upsetting in the past, um, and that you've had to go away to heal to come back together again, uh, more balanced. But let's see, let's see what's in their heart space towards you. Hi, sorry, my dog started barking, so I just had to pause for a second. So we're going to see what's in your earth signs, uh, soulmates, uh, heart space for you. Okay, wow. Okay, so you've got the nine, uh, I'm going to say the nine of pentacles. It's very important, that nine of pentacles. You've got this queen of pentacles, okay, has come out. And you've also got the eight of swords. I'm going to take both of those. So in their um, heart space, they are... Very much, um, they're, they're fearing. There is something that they, they fear in this connection. Thank you. Do they fear the fact that, do they feel um, that they're not worthy enough? They're not good enough for you? You're here as the Queen of Pentacles. This is in our heart space. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is 
uh, extraordinary. You know, she is, you know, completely uh, surrounded with love. So she has a lot of self-love for herself. She's very grounded, which doesn't surprise to see me here. And again, with this, with this pentacle here, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling that they know that, you know, security is a, is a priority for you and that's very important for you. Um, and you, um, you, you, you are, you're a catch. This is the thing, you know, the queen of pentacle, thank you, with the hair here, you're a catch, you're a good catch. Um, uh, you know, medieval times, hunters found it very difficult to catch hair, so that's hence the expression, you know, a good ha good catch as well. But I also, and I always see this card, think of the tortoise and the hare, and it's a reminder for spirit about, you know, whatever decision, whatever you are wanting to manifest is always the right time for everything, but it's also about um, making a decision in a, from a very grounded point of view and making, don't rush into any decision. They see you as this queen, they see you in receiving mode, they see again, like again, I'm seeing this, these mountains. So there's been some form of ending. Um, and I do feel it is with them. Um, but you, you are going to make a decision from the heart, but they, they are trapped in this fear space at the moment. And you have to have, um, try and have compassion for them in this, this fear space, because this space that they're in is from, um, conditioned behaviors from from things that they have done over and over and over and over that's like in a cycle they can't see a way out of it and so they they end up just getting almost frozen in fear and they don't know what the right thing is to do you know they they have this three of wands for you in their headspace they want something to happen with you they're waiting on something to happen um, they've made this kind of decision but there might be more than one person involved and so they're not quite sure how to approach you. They feel this it for you, this queen of pentacles. They see you as hugely abundant and attractive and grounded and with your self-worth and your self-love completely surrounding you. Do you see there? And you're a queen. Um, and so this is, this is what's, um, uh, and thank you. The seven and the eight of pentacles, the seven and the queen of pentacles makes an, an, an eight. And the eight is about working on yourself. Eight of pentacles is about working on yourself. So although you feel that you things aren't happening for you at the time you want them to happen for you, you have been working on yourself. Thank you, just put that around. You have been working on yourself because that is, that is the energy that you're giving out. The seven and the one makes the eight. You are giving out that energy of that Eight of Pentacles and they are being pulled towards that because you are, um, although you don't realise it, you're manifesting this back in. You know, they can't, with this three, three of Wands, you know, they're very focused on you. And it's about Spirit saying to you as well when you're in that Queen of Pentacles mode, you don't need to go out and make this happen. You know that. This is about you knowing your self-love and self-worth and about being in receiving mode a little bit here. So let's see. Um, this is uh, their intentions towards you. Thank you for earth signs. Thank you. <laughs> so you have the King of Cups and you have the Ten of Wands. This is, my darling, a journey. Always remember these soulmate journeys are um, a journey. And it's not actually really about the destination. It's about how we shift and change and grow and evolve along the way. And soulmates, particularly soulmates, every relationship is for the evolution of our soul. And soulmates come in because we feel so much for them to help us trigger and heal and grow and shift and change. And they are going through that. This is their intentions towards you. This is the King of Cups. At the moment, my darling, they're not... They're not ready, which means that the universe is protecting you. They're not ready to step forward. They have an extraordinary amount of love for you. They are thinking about you a great deal. Their intentions that they, they you know, they want, they're sitting in their emotions, okay? Um, you know, the water is touching them here, which means they very much, where they may have been closed off before, they're now allowing these, these emotions to touch them. They are sit. They're not ignoring them. They're not trying to block them. So, 
you know, they are, although this is this fear space that they're not quite sure what to do, that, you know, this is their feelings, their intentions towards you. They, they're now intent on trying to understand these feelings, but they know that they're a lot. They have this cup for you, okay? And, you know, this is the king and you're the queen. So they feel that extraordinary connection with you. Um, but that, you know, the king of cups sometimes is not very, he's not able to speak the words, although he feels them. And there's, there's a lovely, I don't know who said this uh, quote, but there's a lovely quote that always sits with me. Um, uh, just because somebody doesn't love you the way you want them to love you doesn't mean to say they don't love you with everything that they are. And the, you know, at the moment they have this 10 of wands, this is their intentions towards you as well. So I think, you know, they are still releasing, I think, I know they are still releasing a lot of things that don't serve them. They're going through various life lessons at the moment to help release a lot of conditioned behaviours. And because this is the Ten of Wands, they have come a long way. You know, this is the Ten is the end of a cycle. There will come a time where they just can't keep um, doing... The universe is... What happens is God will keep, if we're not shifting and growing and evolving, we get little slaps from the universe. And then if we continue to ignore, we get a bigger slap from the universe. So although this is a very difficult time for your soulmate, it's happening for them, not to them, in order for them to shift and change. Um, and to and to do more of the King of Cups in terms of sitting in their emotions rather than trying to uh, block it off. And there, there's, there's fear attached here, darling. There's fear attached here. And when fear is attached, it simply comes down to lack of self-love and lack of self-worth on that person. So, um, but they love you. Whoever this is you're thinking about, they love you just like you love them. Um, so let's look at Spirit's advice for you. Thank you. <laughs> Divine Law. The Wheel of Fortune. It's turning in your favour. It will happen at the right time. Divine Law. It'll happen at the right time. It's the law of manifestation as well. It's all turning, but it'll all happen when it's meant to. And if it's not happening just yet, remember you are being protected because there are other things that need to happen first. And if... If this is a, a soulmate relationship where you're looking to reconcile with them, or this is a new soulmate relationship where they're, they're not able to tell you how they feel, it's because they need to, they need to shift and grow and, um, and evolve, just like you, know, you have been doing as well. Because otherwise you end up carrying past traumas and hurts from an old relationship into a new relationship. And what happens? You repeat the same cycle. But this is, you are being, you know, the wheel is saying you are being completely guided. Um, and, you know, if you're starting to learn and read stuff, you're going to get great strength and courage from doing that. I've just been told as well. Um, and also, there's an expression in England, I don't know if it is anywhere else, but there's certain expression I know about being a bull in the china shop. Just, um, I know that you are goal setters, earth signs, and I know that you're persistent, but... Um, don't just allow things to happen at the pace they're meant to happen. Don't rush in and try and force things to happen and make things to happen, try and control it, because you will literally be a bull in a china shop. And a very delicate, this is, you know, anything that's a very delicate situation, it's best sometimes to do nothing and just sit back and observe and just hand it over to God and the universe and just say, thank you for taking care of it. Sorry, that was just a little, <laughs> a little aside that just came out for you. Um, and uh, as I said that, I got uh, the three and the five. Again, I got the five of wands and the three of cups, a little extra message, which is just to clarify that, you know, this is the bull in the china shop, sort of things just tend to get slightly out of control. And, or you can be in that three of cups, which is in that lovely celebratory um, kind of uh, mode where you're enjoying life. And three and five is eight again about working, working all you, this journey is a, for you to work on you, you you to heal you, you to fix you, allow your soulmate the same. Uh, people only learn through their own experiences. You can't fix them, you can only fix yourself. 
So uh, now we are going to use my Arcanium deck to do some clarifiers for you, just to go a little bit deeper on the cards. So we're looking at the Seven of Pentacles, first of all, for you. Thank you for Earth Signs. Please give me more information. Thank you on the Seven of Pentacles. Thank you. Oh, quite a lot of cards. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> They're very funny. Okay, I'm going to take all of them for you. So, reminder, Seven of Pentacles, be grateful, be happy in the moment. Things are manifesting, things are happening as they should. Don't get despondent, it all happens at the right time. Things have to grow and evolve as they should do. And I said to you again, it's about the Nine of Pentacles coming into that Nine of Pentacles and um, you've got the Nine of Pentacles coming out. So the more you allow things to happen, the more you don't try to control them, which is this uh, Knight of Swords that's rushed out. Don't rush in and do anything without thinking. Don't rush in from your fear space, from your head space. Always observe, sit back. And if it feels right and you're doing it from your heart space, that's lovely. Um, but if it feels like you're doing it from a fear space, don't do it. That's what Spirit's saying. And, uh, and you know, working on yourself, uh, as I said, coming into that Nine of Pentacles, um, this is fantastic. You know, you can see how beautifully grounded she is. Um, and she is absolutely enlightened. She's got the peacock there as well. You're very proud, and so you should be, of where you've, you've, you've come. You know, that peacock is about that, but of course the peacock feathers represent that third eye as well. Um, you know, our psychic eye, our intuitive eye, listening to our soul. Um, and you know, this is so lovely. Thank you, Spirit. It's the first time I've seen this in this card, actually. I haven't used this deck for a while. You've got five of pentacles on the one and the three of pentacles on the other side, and that obviously makes the nine. And what I'm seeing here immediately is that you've had to go through that five of pentacles experience, that feeling left out in the cold, those that dark night of the soul, to get to the three of pentacles, which is about creating your own foundation for you. You being self-reliant, self-sufficient on you, you choosing to do what's right for you um, and you're completely at peace with it. So that's really lovely um, to clarify the um, Seven of Pentacles, but you've also got, and I'm gonna take them both, the Magician and Judgment. How amazing is that? It's a reminder you have all the tools to manifest. You can create your own reality. Every day you can create yourself anew, okay? Just by flipping it in your mind. And you've also got Judgment. So this could be something that's literally come out of the blue for you. It can be a resurrection of a relationship um, and uh, you weren't expecting it, but you were hoping and manifesting it. Um, you know, judgment, you know, represents those sort of symbolic endings and then something, an ending and a new beginning, a rebirth. So an inner calling, a second chance. So and um, uh, Archangel Michael here is absolutely trying to get... Uh, your attention and your soulmate's attention so and people are listening um so uh, that's quite a lot of clarifiers for that card uh, we're now going to look at the two of wands which is in your headspace for your soulmate thank you two of wands thank you please clarify earth signs two of wands thank you very much spirit oh that's why it's not coming out because i'm doing the wrong deck there so <laughs> Two of Wands, thank you. Earth signs, thank you. Eight of Cups. So somebody walked away from this. Uh, somebody walked away from this relationship for their greatest good. You made a decision, or they made a decision, but this is you making the decision. And you walked away from a situation at the time that, this is what I'm feeling, that wasn't you knew wasn't right for you, this relationship. You were guided by spirit, that's the moon there. It's not to say that the Ace of Cups aren't, you know, a nice, a good relationship, but it wasn't what your soul, your soul, I feel your soul, this relationship with your soulmate, as I said, was, um, was also to help trigger these things in you that needed to be healed, just like it is in them. And it was, it's a, it's a difficult calling to do, to, 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 to leave something, um, but you 
it was important that you did and it's led to you now coming into this queen of pentacles you know your self-love your nine of pentacles your seven of pentacles you are very you know reflective of the situation and i really feel that you know this soulmate you know this connection with your soulmate you know that you've is this world card that they're holding you know it was a a life-changing event that you 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 had to do um anyway let's just see thank you um yeah and you got the ace of wands just flipped out as i was saying that so so this ending new beginning um you've come around it's been a cycle and you've come around and i and i i feel that you feel that that something's about to happen unless it has happened already but you feel that there's a, a a second chance here with this with your soulmate so let's see what's in thank you <laughs> I was just about to say, it's come out already. Let's see what's in their headspace for you. Remember in their heart space for you, you had the Queen of Pentacles, where well, you've also got that in their headspace. So my goodness, they absolutely see you again. There's the bunny rabbit, that being that catch, that extraordinary person. You've manifested things all around you and they very much admire you. Um, and you've done it yourself. Um, you know, you're holding that pentacle. This is the earth sign again. You've, 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 you're wearing a, a, a cloak. You, you know, it's almost like you've got this protection of, um, well, you have protection around you from spirit. Um, but it's very beautiful. You've got the green here. It's things that you're very, you love and you're very passionate about. They very much see you. Um, as somebody incredibly grounded and incredibly successful but kind and um, and I, I, I keep thinking now when I've now got these two pentacles from both the queen of pentacles this is in their head and heart space you know have they offered you something have they come forward already because both of these cards for me is, is about also about making a decision from a balanced point of view from a considered point of view and remembering your self-love and self-worth. Um, and, you know, she is particularly looking at that pentacle. So this is in their headspace. And are they waiting for a reply from you? And you're giving it your consideration. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. You have to let me know in any of the comments section. Um, so let's see, in their heart space, they have again that Eight of Swords and that Queen of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Too many cards, too many cards. <laughs> I'm going to take them again. Three cards here. You really have been on a journey with a soulmate, haven't you? Um, you have got the Emperor, the World and the Empress uh, have come out in that order. This is in their heart space for you, my darling. You, um, okay, I'm gonna talk about the world first of all, and I'm sure you know this already. So the world is, it's symbolic of that ending and that pause in life before a new beginning, okay? You've gone through, both of you have gone through some form of symbolic ending. It's about completeness. It's about being spent, suspended between as above, down below. It's about consciously manifesting, understanding that it's already been taken care of. Um, and I'm seeing here this affinity symbol of eight here, which, which for me is this connection you have with your soulmate. It's about spiritual enlightenment, spiritual awareness. But that eight is so constantly never, can't be broken. Um, and it's about you as the emperor and the empress here. So this is about a journey of real twin souls here. Um, I'm going to look at this emperor because I immediately am drawn to the fact that this is a different emperor to some of the other decks. This emperor is in touch with his higher self. This emperor is listening. He's on his turrets. He's in his higher self mode. He's got, he's left behind, um, well that's interesting, it's almost like immediately kind of saw a vol volcano, but maybe it's not, but he's left behind him any disruption in his life, he, he doesn't want to be involved in that anymore. 
you know, he's he's holding this orb, um, and there's and there's the cross on there as well. So he's very much getting spiritual enlightenment. Um, it's as clear as day to him. It's what I'm getting. Um, and is he an Aries? There's a there's a sort of ram's head there as well. Maybe that means something for you. But he's he's very grand. He he knows what he wants. Uh, and look at you as the empress. You're also holding that same orb. And also what's beautiful is you're holding the lotus flower. And the lotus flower is that transformation that you have gone through. Um, that you go through when you go through the dark night of the soul. You, you've blossomed out of it. You've transformed out of it. Just like the sun, sunflower. Just like the lotus flower comes out of murky waters. And you're very much holding that enlightenment in your hands and you've got this peace sign here. You've come to a place of peace and understanding. Um, and green of your heart chakra. You're getting dreams as well. You're definitely having dreams between you and I kind of see that. Um, sorry, just with those sort of cards all together and that world card in between you. So this is in his heart space. So he there is something that's about um, to happen. He is still in that space. So why do I say he? It's because it's the emperor, but he or she, your soulmate, is still in that. They're still nervous because of the Eight of Swords, okay? They're still nervous, but you've got these two Queen of Pentacles. They may be nervous because they've offered you something and you're looking at it. Um, it's, it's very important to you. It's your world with the Two of Wands. Um, but they have an awful lot of love behind whatever they have either offered you or are planning on offering you once they can get out of their fear head, their hamster wheel thoughts going round and round and round. And, you know, as they said, you know, they're, they have this with their intentions towards you, this ten of wands and this king of cups. You've just got to release some things, the last bit of that cycle to release because this is the world card between you. And you're holding this world card okay, in your, in your uh, heart space. So you know from a soul point of view what this journey is for you and your soulmate. You know this is a divinely led, divinely guided, um, and thank you. And I think you've been, you've learnt patience. Um, you've certainly learnt patience with this um, because that's part of what this journey is all about, to let go and let God. So how beautiful is that? That's in their, in their heart space. They also know, as I said, they've come to a real place of understanding with that emperor there and knowing that you are their empress. Of course you are, you're fabulous. Okay, so now we're going to look at their intentions towards you, which was the Ten of Wands and the King of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. <laughs> Oh, my darlings, this is so lovely. You've got the Page of Cups and the Four of Wands. I don't think Spirit could be any clearer for you. So, although maybe they're not saying stuff at the moment, it's because it's not quite the right time because they're just at that space where they're releasing all of that stuff that no longer serves them in their life. And what they want to do is come forward with this Page of Cups. Now, in they're your King of Cups, all right? You know they're your king of cups. You know they're your emperor. They're feeling nervous. They're going to come forward as the page, okay? Because they see you as the empress. They see you as this queen of pentacles. You've had that double page. It's going to make them a little nervous to come forward, you know, that fish out of water. But they're coming to you from a place of truth, and that's what's so beautiful. He's sort of wearing blue. Um, and thank you. They're coming to you as well with a transparency. Do you sort of see that kind of cloak that he's wearing? It's sort of almost transparent. So they're going to be very vulnerable, going to be transparent to you about their feelings and they are in their feelings. Do you see them standing in the water there? Because that's what you are, this twin soul journey. This is this twin flame. This is the four of wands there. Um, and you know it already because you've got the two ones. You've got, you know about your half you know they also know they also know they just need to release some of these burdens um and in fact thank you spirit uh let me show you they also know the ten and the three 
makes 13 and one and three makes four, which is the four of wands. They're just people, um, allow them as much time as they need, okay? People go through uh, life lessons at exactly the right time for them, okay? Allow them to have this journey at exactly the right time for them. Um, allow them all the time they need to go through this um, and uh, it'll all be as it's meant to be because you know that, you're the Empress, so you know that already. Um, okay, uh, that is so beautiful and now I'm going to pull the card for you for the Wheel of Fortune. So please clarify the Wheel of Fortune, thank you Spirit. One or two cards for the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> <laughs> you've got the eight of wands it's all happening for you communications coming in it's all happening at the right time for you whatever this means for you uh, this is absolutely beautiful um, you know and it's also about your manifestation you're literally sending up thank you rockets of desire is what I've got this is all turning in your favor it's divine law divinely guided okay you also got the two of pentacles which is about not feeling overwhelmed, okay? And, and about understanding that despite everything that's going on, those waters are a little rough, despite everything that's going on, those ships are still there. They're going to come into dock, your manifestations are going to happen, okay? And don't, don't get too overwhelmed by things, okay? Don't lose sight of your feeling of groundedness about yourself, that's very important. Uh, you know, she's actually quite enjoying this sort of thing. You can do it standing on one leg. You know that, Spirit says. You know, you know this. You've gone through a huge journey. So don't don't get triggered by any fears or any concerns or any worries. Um, what was I going to do for you? I was going to pull you some love messages, first of all, for Earth signs. This is a real, it's been a long journey for you, hasn't it? But I think it's been very rewarding for you as well. Um, so I've got your beautiful face is always on my mind. Um, and uh, very interesting, very similar to the air sign reading. The same cards have flown out. I smile when I get a message from you. I need you because I love you. Um, and on the bottom of the jet, Deck. just because I let you go doesn't mean I wanted to so um, they're asking me to do one more for you one more please thank you I made a mistake now I'm living with the consequences I regret it I really do so I think that's their fear space back where they've been whatever this is it's been a journey okay it's been a journey uh, for both of you and uh, they have certainly um, shifted and changed as well and transformed and remember all these journeys of the evolution of our soul um, and uh, you have both been divinely guided and divinely protected on this journey but there is so much love here and it's all the wheel is turning in your favor and turning in their favor too you know um, thank you so I've got finances and career are an issue right now so I think you know try and step out of that seven of pentacles remember um it's everything is um everything is temporary your your everything is being you are going to if this is going to be more than okay but it's about not fearing the lack of at the moment so if there is a you know don't worry about that um let your friends help you now we all get sent thank you for it we all get sent at exactly the right time for us um, people to help us. God sends himself in others to help us when we need them. So whoever's come into your life or who's around you at this time uh, that, is, that, that is bringing you relief and helping you, that's God coming to help you. So do ask for, you know, do ask and accept support from others. And it's just a reminder that you deserve love. Remember that. This is all, this is, this is um, beautiful. One more card, please. Thank you, Spirit. One more. One more card, one more card. <laughs> You've got honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I really feel, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean a honeymoon and marriage and everything, but I feel, thank you. Yeah, I, I really feel that you have, it's about, um, you've got getting to know each other again. So I think 
as you have come away and come 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 away from each other and come back together it's about re-getting to know each other from that healed place that you are and and enjoying time together about being in the moment so that's just wonderful could mean honeymoon for some of you um but just trust my darling just trust this is a beautiful week reading um let go and let god um Okay, I hoped that helped whoever it was resonating with. Um, and I'll be back to doing your individual star signs next weekend. Uh, in the meantime, I've also got all of August Soulmate monthly readings are up available for you to watch. Um, and I hope you have the most fabulous, sunny, sunshiny, gorgeous, lovely weekend and a lovely week. And I look forward to catching up with you again next week. Take care, my darlings. Bye bye.